Hello everyone and welcome back to Dungeon Hunter 5 where the co-op update has dropped. We are knee deep in it and I am also just in time to show you some screenshots for the next update that's going to be coming out. It's the Chinese New Year update. I have some screenshots of what the hub world's going to look like as well as what the currency is going to look like. There's a whole bunch of other little changes as well and I'll go ahead and splice in some of the screenshots right here so you can see it. But right now in this video what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you some of the co-op. I'm still using the Halloween and I'm going to see if I can get into a game. I tried recording some yesterday but I didn't have too much luck with it. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in the Ashkin Breeding Grounds, which is currently the only dungeon available to do co-op. I had a much easier time getting into a game today with a more balanced party. Uh, actually, this gentleman right here is probably level 120-something, if I am remembering correctly. So I think I won't- I doubt we'll be contributing too much, we being me and the other level 27 in here. But it's still gonna be a fun time. Even though that the, even though there's only one dungeon one raid available at the moment i have a feeling that co-op is going to add a lot of longevity to the game because i already enjoy raiding with more than one person then I, I already enjoy raiding with three people than i did raiding by myself is a much better way of phrasing that sentence so i've played through this one just probably like three or four times or something i just wanted to see what it was it's pretty short it, it does get very hard on higher difficulties though and by higher difficulties i mean anything other than normal this this uh, this little raid here can get very difficult. If the worm at the end chooses to sit on you, that's it. That's the end. You're not built to be sat upon by a worm. That's just not what humans are built for. And I like the theme of this dungeon as well, just because it's kind of got that Lovecraftian vibe where you're fighting these fanatics, otherwise known as probably cultists if this was a Lovecraft book. And there is the final boss, the worm. We're already there. I promise you, on hard, I tried one run on hard with some other folks. I tried to mostly stay out of the way and just poke away at people with some magic. But one shot, one or two shots is enough to kill, and I am a mere level 25. But I wanted to show you guys what this was. So hopefully you don't mind me being a mere 25, but I'm going to be leveling up since I'm going to be playing this more often. Gosh dang it, I love games like this. I love Dungeon Crawler so much. I am using... I have a life shield, because it was really the only shield that I had. Should be using more fire against these guys, though. Where's our worm friend? Where is he at? Do you see him? Is he over here, or... I wasn't sure if that was lag, or if he was just firing off some magic. There he is. There's our good friend, the worm. And then once you beat the actual worm, you have to defeat the ghost that was possessing him. Wait, are we even doing anything? Is his health bar stuck? I don't know what's going on there. Sorry I couldn't get a video out on this more quickly. I mentioned in the most recent Blitz Brigade video I did have to have a small medical procedure done. Everything's okay. Oh wow, look at that. There we go. We did it. Now let's get our reward. Everything's okay though and now I'm here a few days late. Complete Ashkin Breeding Grounds and co-op with any party member taking damage from the Wraith's Bomb ability. Hey, nice. And then I just have to complete a co-op dungeon probably tomorrow. So that is the co-op dungeon that is available at the moment. Uh, I wanted to show you guys that. I think I might do one more run right now. Or I could do another of the... I might do another Death Knight. Tuesday Dungeon, Forbidden Materials. Let's see here. I actually think I might do just one run of the Daily Dungeon. This is... All right, there we go. Got a call real quick there but you know that's never stopped me before so let's just keep going in today's daily dungeon this is the first one i've ever done because i've never really felt confident enough in my uh, my damage to do one so i don't really know what to expect it looks kind of like uh what dungeon hunter 3 was you know like it was kind of arena based it was pretty neat I want to play the original Dungeon Hunter again, too. That's something that I've always wanted to try. I think it's on the Vita. I might pick that up next time I see it. Because my Vita is desperate for some games. A Bailoff! Oh my goodness, I have those in my Magic the Gathering deck. I've got ones with Landfall that drop 4-4 four, four beasts whenever a Landfall, or whenever a land enters the battlefield. The Halloween is such a fun weapon. I love its animations. I like its strength. I mean, it's got the same animations as, you know, other glaives. I'm just saying I dig it. 
All right, what I get? Let's see this. My first loot from my first daily dungeon ever. Sweet, a rare Crimson Hydra Scale. I am down with that. Also, Viridian Hydra Scale. Golden. Cool haul. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. I can't wait for the Chinese New Year update because I am little things, just Evan things. I love Chinese architecture and culture and stuff like that, so it's cool to see it. All right, everyone. Have a great day, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.